Okay, so the corresponding move is here. And the Yankees are bringing up uh, Luis Hill to pitch today against the Chicago White Sox, and they just sent down, well, they sent down yesterday, Ron Marinaccio that they brought up the other day for additional relief help. That's the corresponding move to get Luis Hill on the 26th uh, man. So that's right now. My guess is Luis Hill, I guess depending on how well he pitches, he'll either stay up and if he never was just a spot start just to kind of help get the rotation back in order, and he'll be sent down um, probably immediately after the start, and Ron Marinaccio might be called back up unless they bring in bring up some other pitcher. But at some point, the Yankees will need another starter or reliever or whatnot. So, but um, that's the move right now. I'll be out later with the, with the lineup, and of course, I'll be out tonight with the post game recap against the White Sox the next four games. So make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're not done so yet. And um, obviously, if you do subscribe and you enjoy the content, hit the like button. Hit the notification bell and share this with other people that you know that are baseball fans, particularly Yankee fans. So, and um, with that, I'm going to get you to the uh, baseball, or this day in baseball history. Most of the time it's going to be the Yankees, but if the other news that's non-Yankees is cooler than the Yankees news, then I'll get that to you too. So this day uh, in Yankee history, which is uh, May 12th, and this happened in 1970, Ernie Banks hit his 500th career home run in the game against the Atlanta Braves with the Chicago Cubs 1-4-3. So... Hall of Famer Ernie Banks. It's 500th home run. There's a lot of um, 500th home run moments that are going to be coming up soon. So um, I'll be pl I'm doing this every day now, and I'll be doing it every day for the season, and I'll do it you know, later on as well. Obviously, during the season, it's going to be when most of the Yankee stuff and baseball stuff happens. So, but um, anything of significance other than that, if it's breaking news or trades or um, corresponding moves, particularly with the Yankees, you know you're going to find it here. So, but that's the move right now. Ron Marinaccio has been sent down so Luis Hill can get, get his start tonight against the White Sox. And again, this is because of the rainouts that they've had over the last week or so. This is to help get the rotation kind of back in order, help guy, get guys back on a regular rest cycle. So it's important that they do that. Luis Hill has struggled over the last, well, this whole season in the minors, unfortunately. He's got a point nine something ERA. But when they brought him up last year to the majors, he pitched really well. So hopefully they might rediscover that formula here. And maybe he'll pitch well, especially being surrounded by these guys. Now, there's a lot of, there's a lot of good uh, um, productivity and a lot of good energy going on right now in the rotation. So being surrounded by some of these guys you might be able to rub off on him. Might, it might do him some good, you know. And um, so I'm excited for him. I hope that he pitches well. I think it was 5-0 if I remember correctly when he came up. And then when he sent them back down and you know, he came back up later, it was just not the same. So, but um, I'm looking forward to seeing him. He's a young, dynamic pitcher, and he's one of the more promising prospects, even though he's uh, been moved down to 12th in their prospects, and he's got several, there's a couple of pitchers ahead of him on the prospect list with, the, with regards to the Yankees. Um, I'm still thinking that then, hoping that he pitches well. So, if that's what happens tonight. I'll obviously hit you with the, line, uh, with the lineup later on, and then we'll talk about the recap tonight. Over and out.